It's been a long time since I've seen them. Dustin! Lindsay! I have missed the nerd soul. It's time that they come back from their slumber, their hiatus, their... I'm gonna get them back. Screw it, I'm gonna get them back. Somehow! I need to do the summoning ritual. Camera guy! What? I need you to get me the back the nerds! <sighs> do it ASAP! Alright. Is this really gonna work? I have done this several times before. Believe you me, it will work. Whatever you say. Let it go! Let it go! Let it go, camera boy! My name is George! Shut up! <laughs> Nerds, Dustin and Lint, I ask that you arise from your slumber and come back to the campus of CMU so that it once again proudly has a nerd culture. So here and now I say, from darkest day to blackest night, no evil shall escape their sight. Beware their power, Nerdvana's light. Oh, I guess we're back. Damn. Nerds, my name is Dustin Drew. And I'm Lindsay Schwalm. And while we were off in a galaxy far, far away, defending the Earth from, you know, alien scum, a lot of stuff apparently happened over the summer. It did. It did. Uh, first and foremost, I think we need to uh, kind of go to the, the obvious here. And uh, over the summer, I believe on July 11th, uh, Nintendo president Satoru Iwata passed away. Um, for those of you who don't know, he was definitely one of modern gaming's fathers, really, honestly. He was yeah. a, an incredibly innovative mind that put out a lot of great content uh, into the gaming world, but particularly Nintendo. Uh, yeah, he passed away at age 55 due to a bile duct growth. So, uh, yeah, he's the mind behind uh, Wii U, Nintendo DS, uh, many, many, many games. And uh, yeah, it was really, really sudden. And I know, I think the gaming community will, will really feel the loss from here on out. Definitely. So, yeah, definitely uh, something, something for uh, everyone kind of to think about. So. However, in lighter news. Well, in lighter news, um, over the summer, the Electronics Entertainment Expo, which also E3. known as E3, featured a whole lot of new stuff. Mm -hmm. Particularly the things that I'm excited about would be they released a new trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, and anyone that knows me knows that I am absolutely in love with the Kingdom Hearts series. Also, they released uh, footage of um, a Final Fantasy VII remake. Yes. Which, which it's been like a resounding thing yes. in the gaming world because, I mean... It's probably one of my all-time favorite games. I yeah. mean, it's something you, you know, no one can ever really get tired of. No like, like when you think of the PlayStation, you think of yeah. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. So they're remaking it. I'm not really sure what platform they're sure they're going to put it on. Probably going to be the, like, PS4. I would assume PS4, yeah, at but, least. Um, yeah. But it, it looked amazing. It I really I remember good. watching watching it streaming live, I think. And, I mean, people just went insane about it. So, yeah, Final Fantasy VII remake coming out soon. Uh, what else did we come uh, come up with with uh, E3 stuff? Um, well, this wasn't exactly an E3 thing, but Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom oh, yeah. Pain was released a week ago, exactly yeah, September first. So you know you should definitely look for that. Um, and just uh, just a whole lot of stuff has gone on over the summer. You can check our Twitter for a link to see exactly what yes. happened. And so two yeah. nerds, one couch. Yeah, in case you forgot, yes, because it's been three forgot. long months while we were beating up aliens and crap. So yeah. Also, um, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, 
But there seems to have been a really random, sudden rash of just completely terrible, odd movies that yeah. have come out recently. Yeah. Starting yeah. with, uh, you know, Pixels, because, you know, we all know that that's going to be like a, you know, a classic. Um, no. <laughs> no. Adam Sandler, stop, please. No. <laughs> You're only hurting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, actually, no. There are a whole lot of movies that are going to absolutely destroy our childhood. Yes. Like, uh, yeah. for example, they are making a live... All, yet, all these movies that I'm naming are live action. Yes. So, start one, Winnie the Pooh. Two, The Jetsons. Three, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Four, Goosebumps. Five, Angry Birds. And... For the last one, this isn't exactly live action, but it's still terrible altogether. <laughs> emojis. Yes, they're making a yeah. movie about emojis. An entire movie. Um, and I, I feel like we should mention the Goosebumps movie, which, you know, everyone grew up with Goosebumps, scary books. They were, you know, episodes and things like that. Uh, main character in that is Jack Black. Yeah, Jack, Jack Black, Black is playing R.L. Stein, the yeah. writer of the Goosebumps. Uh, I don't I, know how I feel about that. I, I'm, just, I'm not, you know, goosebumps were scary. I just whenever I, I think of Jack Black, I think of a fat panda doing karate, <laughs> or I think of like uh, this quirky teacher screaming yes. at kids about music. That's what I think of when yeah. I think of Jack Black. So to see him playing R.L. Stein, one of my childhood nightmare providers, is uh, no, I can't. I don't know. Yeah. So but yeah, emo, emo, emojis, emojis. That's the movie. I mean, oh, yeah. with real human people. Mm -hmm. I thought there was like some big name actors. To I, I like know. attached to this movie? Yeah, I, I heard, yeah, I don't know. I mm -hmm. haven't looked that far into it, quite honestly, because it's horrifying. Yeah. I, moving probably. on from that, um, also over the summer, I believe, uh, uh, okay, uh, World of Warcraft. We'll just skip to that. World of Warcraft Legion is the sixth warcraft expansion that was recently announced it was announced at gamescom 2015 so this is it's a pretty big deal for warcraft fans i mean anybody that plays it uh let's see what do we got uh demon hunters are the new class hero class that is playable um we've been waiting for i think the last playable hero class was monks I believe in Pandaria expansion. Yeah. I believe I. Uh, I think I think no. I think you are right. Monks. I thought it was. I'm not really sure. I but don't know. anyways, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't know. Camera guy. <laughs> Input. <laughs> it was Death Knights were the only other hero class. They wanted monks. To monks. Be, but they decided not to. Really. Yeah. Huh. There was other ones too that they were like bards were gonna be ones. They oh were wow. Theorizing about, but I think that might have been like an April Fool's thing. That is so not cool. <laughs> that would have been awesome. You know, they have their own, like, tour and rock group. Like, yeah. See, look, you learn something new every day. Thank We're you, George, the camera guy. Yes, thank you. That's I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Demon Hunters are the brand new class. There's a new continent being introduced called the Broken Isles. There's a new level cap, extra character slot, and much more. That's from the World of Warcraft, the, the website, actually. Um, yeah, it's a big deal. It's it's really interesting. It expands upon ideas that were introduced in an earlier expansion, Burning Crusades. Uh, the Demon Hunters look really cool. The characters, um, I think they've they've revamped a lot of the character models too, I believe, uh, which people have been wanting done for a long time. They were getting kind of dated. I mean, all of the different races, the character models redone. So it looks really pretty. It just, it looks really fun. It's definitely an exciting thing. So, uh... Yeah, that's coming up. That's a big deal. Um, also, something a little bit more local for you guys. Celebration Cinema here in Mount Pleasant actually has some really exciting, cool movies and stuff coming up pretty soon here. Uh, for example, I know in the month of September alone, they're playing the season eight finale, uh, last two episodes. It's a two-parter of Doctor Who. Uh, they're playing Dark Water and Death in Heaven. So that's the 12th Doctor uh, season eight finale since season nine's coming up here. Uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, September 15th, I believe it's 7.30, which is kind of exciting. There's also uh, uh, a lot of interesting movies coming up for the month of Halloween, too. Uh, they have all kinds of really neat stuff. You can check the website. It's uh, celebrationcinema.com for uh, all of your times and everything like that. But I know during the month of October, we have, we'll look right here, 
Uh, October 16th, we have Tom Hiddleston's new horror movie called Crimson Peak. It is like a period piece. I think he plays a priest. I've seen a couple like okay. set building things. It looks really good. Um, it's supposed to be really, really scary. Uh, also, October 16th is Goosebumps. Jack Black. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Creepy game. It's in 3D, too. You can go see it in 3D. You can see Jack Black. In yeah, go watch the panda fight in 3D and with monsters yeah. and stuff. This is kind of out of order, but uh, October 15th at 7 o'clock, uh, they're actually broadcasting live. It's a little expensive. I think it's $20 a tic- ticket, but they're uh, Hamlet. And they are oh. broadcasting that, uh, broadcasting it live with one night. Benedict so. Cumberbatch's... Right. Yes, yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch as Hamlet. Um, I can read a little bit of information on it here. It starts at 7 p.m. Tickets are $20 a piece. Uh, it is only the one day. It's only October 15th. So, yeah, National Theater Live will broadcast uh, Hamlet with Benedict Cumb- Cumberbatch in the, the, the lead role. And it has apparently been getting just rave reviews. I know when they announced that he was going to play Hamlet, I think it was almost a year ago, uh, the tickets were sold out just instantly, like within days. I can believe so, it. Yeah. That should be really interesting. It's a Thursday night, so uh, definitely something to check out if you're interested. Also, um, something uh, interesting for you anime fans out there. Uh, I'll go back. I'll go back to September 30th coming up here. They are playing Attack on Titan Part 1. Yeah. Yeah. This is, um, I actually heard about this like a mm-hmm. while ago. They're making, well, they've already made an Attack on Titan movie primarily yes. in Japan, and it's two parts. You know, yeah. like Attack on Titan Part yeah. 1 and then Part 2. Part one is uh, September 30th, 7.30, Celebration Cinema. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they're showing part two. And it's really short. It's just a little bit over an hour. They're showing part two. uh, Let's see here. Attack on Titan part two, October 20th. So September 30th, October 20th, both at 7.30 p.m. And it's only, yeah, that's when it opens. And they're showing it, yeah, in parts. And they only have part one and part two right now. Now, I haven't heard any reviews about it, but from what I've seen, it looks good epic like anyone that has seen attack on titan knows that the show is very very heavy with like you know it's violence it's emotions and this it's movie large scale too. yeah I it's mean, just an extremely large scale yeah, show yeah so definitely check this out if you're a fan of the show like yeah. it could be something good because it could be something bad but whatever it, like whatever it is it'll definitely be big so yeah. check it out and basically the whole um, month of October is there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, check out their website again. But uh, they have, you know, starting like the, the week before Halloween, October 21st, they've got Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2. I'm only a fan of the first one, really. But, uh, <laughs> no one can blame you. They have uh, Dracula, like the classic monster movie horror, Dracula, the, uh, 1931. So that's October 25th. Uh, Donnie Darko is October 28th. Um, and then I think they have Halloween, the first Halloween, October 29th. And, uh, yeah, just lots of scary Halloween movies and just special, special features. They're playing a lot of, like, really old classic movies, uh, along with new releases and things like that. So, uh, I would, I would absolutely check it out if you're interested. It's, you know, it's local, it's right here. Most of them are, are very reasonably priced. And, uh, one last thing, uh, coming up here, September 26th, they are playing, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, 40th Anniversary, at Celebration Cinema. And those are always, you know, the showings are always amazingly fun to go to. It's kind of got a cult status. So, yeah, yeah I would absolutely check that out, too. Uh, yep, September 26th. So, other than that, I think that is about all we have for you today. Yeah, I think we covered everything. Yeah, I mean, you know. For the most part. Well, we could, yeah. 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 So, this has been Nerdvana. I'm your host, Dustin Yuru. And I'm your other host, Lindsay Schwalm. See you in the next episode, guys. We have much more for you.